Pisces, welcome. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing your reading. It is the 1st of November, so this reading is for the second week of November. Pisces, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you so much for your amazing comments. It always put a big smile on my face, so thank you very much for that. Welcome to anyone that is new watching my videos. Um, so we are in a Scorpio season, aren't we? And uh, I hope you are thriving in this season, and we are going towards the end of the year. I'm going to look into a person that is showing up in your reading today uh, let's look into their feelings and intentions and your feelings and intentions and what is the most likely outcome i will also be picking up energies that is in your surroundings Pisces. so let's start your reading um okay so i feel that you are surrounded by a lot of love a lot of support and that you could be dealing with people from different cultures but you blend very well here many of you are being quite strategic at this time when it comes to and um, i feel that you have harmony around you. There's a lot of harmony. There's a there is a lot of joy as well around you. However, I feel for many of you in you have harmony around you, but you are also sad about something. You could be keeping sadness to yourself. You could be keeping conflict. Like you are, it's like your intentions is to just hold tight for a minute. You don't want to make any rash decisions, and it might be because you have you feel like there is something that you have to give up you're not entirely sure if you want to give it up just yet so you're being quite strategic about how you go about things but there's a reason why you're strategic there's a reason for holding on and there's a reason for kind of fighting or maybe also feeling like you are the one playing games because you feel you feel that you have to that's the only way to reach that wish fulfillment um that you want to maintain here so in your feelings you know what you want you know what makes you happy but your intentions is not to really rush into anything just yet because you're also healing from something that you feel was a loss but you are almost there you're, you're ready to start fresh here i feel that for many of you it's to do with finances perhaps there's a big decision that has to be made and you are making that decision you will receive good news here so it's to do with finances and and that's going to be that boost where you feel okay it's a lot of yellow here so it's like okay now i can start now i can go but you know you're not there yet now a person that's showing up in your energy they could be in a work situation perhaps um maybe someone that is that have gone through a transformation their intentions is to pick themselves up to have victory here they want to well this person want to come in to speak the truth for sure they could have scorpio in their chart but they could also have capricorn taurus virgo um now i'm going to pick up this deck here um this person is they could also be going through a career change um they are it's kind of in a similar situation to you maybe you're meeting them through a career change as well i don't know but there is a change around this person you will find out uh, about their change this could be announced as well um with the knight of pentacles and the three of pentacles i feel this person they have been staying put investing in a situation maybe they want to stay put there and invest it further in a situation or that's what they are evaluating i feel this person is a um, something's happened in terms of a strain uh, regarding caring for others uh, maybe they were they lost someone or they lost something that was very dear to them um, and they had to give that up they're not happy with it but they're coming to terms with the situation so now they know they have the skills they can move forward this person's very excited to have an opportunity to come towards you Pisces they could have uh, also Gemini in their chart but perhaps uh, fire elements I'm picking up as well um they could have Virgo in their chart this person is someone that is they, their desire is to uh well yeah you might have uh, earth elements in your chart but this person they know what they want and what they want is you they see you and them as a couple they see you and them investing in a future together they are just mapping out the their life in, in how, how they want to move forward with you uh, pisces now it can be that this person have been in a long-term relationship in the past and this person is someone that they don't really um this is not someone that will date to for the sake of dating they will date for the sake of being in a relationship so either they go for a date to do that or they don't uh, so that's maybe why you haven't heard or seen this person take any action at all this person they're going through a huge transformation here and uh, they have pulled back they have gained strength they have got themselves back up on their horse and uh, i feel this person that next move they will 
celebrate their next move here. I feel like it's a big, big step. Um, this person, they, yeah, I feel here someone that is looking at you as the person they want to be in a relationship with. And they're moving slowly towards you, but they are moving. But they also know that there's something about an apology, something about, okay, they have to still take their time to communicate with you. You might have history with this person, or maybe if you haven't, but there's been some kind of contact at some point at least, but they are very sure of their actions. Now, when they press that send button, they are they have no intentions of stopping. I'm also seeing that someone is trying to pin you down and you're not easy to catch. <laughs> pin down your location. Maybe they want to um, accidentally bump into you, uh, accidentally sort of be where you are so it's easier to communicate with you or something like that. But I'm seeing that you're not easy to catch because you... <laughs> You are looking over your shoulder. It's like you have your own um, story going on here. So it's very interesting. And um, I don't feel you are in touch with this person right now. So Pisces, I feel for many of you, it's the financial situation and what you thrive doing that is in your focus. You're really trying to find that. Okay, what is it that I love to do? Um, you know, is I need to. You you feel at loss here. You're grieving. You're grieving a loss. It could be to do with the harmony that you once felt that gave you a lot of joy. And you feel like, oh, it, some of you, it's, you have an opportunity here when it comes to money to be self-made, but you are still grieving. There's something you are grieving. There's something you regret. There is a loss, but it is still temporary. There won't be much, there won't be much time uh, to focus on the grieving part, I feel here. Again, I'm getting that page of swords. Someone is trying to pin you down with the magician and this, the page of swords. Someone is like, okay, where, where is Pisces? I need to get to them. I want to give them this good news here. Yes. So, so I feel there's been delay. There has been delay, but it's got, not going to be delays anymore. Okay. So for many of you, what you might be stressing about, and it has to do with a change. It has to do with, okay, there is a situation here. I feel like I can't win. Are, am I going to stay in the situation and fight and feel the loss forever? Or am I going to move forward? And so... Okay, uh, let me see here. I feel this, this could be, okay. Many of you are dealing with sort of nuisance around you. It's like everyday nuisance. And there can be so many different things, right? When you're feeling the five of swords and the 10 of swords, you feel like, gosh, there's a lot has been thrown my way. You could be in a difficult situation like negotiating stuff and you feel like you should win, but then you lose. Uh, there could be, you feel like things are unfair and you feel drained for investing your time and just call it like something that didn't bring, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the stress here. Uh, but, but you... That's just, like, it's just a small part of your your life at the moment, but you still need to overcome it. So it's kind of like, if you have been going through, like, arguments where you have to think a lot, or you have felt that you have hidden enemies, that you felt that, oh, I have to fight something to do with finances, for instance, you know, if you have lost finances, if there's someone that's taken off you, and you feel, like, so involved with it, and you're trying to win something, but then it can consume you so much that, okay, you forget to look at your life is quite happy. So if something has got into your mind and annoy, annoyed you, and actually, before I did this reading, I would... I was setting up and then bam, there was this massive, I don't know what it was, but it's, a, it's not even a normal fly. I thought it was a wasp, but it wasn't. It was very loud and it was just going relentlessly. <laughs> it was just, it wasn't going to leave. I opened the door and everything. So it's like that, that really pissed me off because I, it was disturbing me. So I'm getting the same thing and it really threw me off. You know, I didn't know I was going to be that angry because of a fly, but it's just because I couldn't control it. It was like, um, I don't know, I haven't seen it. I, I, I eventually killed it. But anyway, it threw me off because I didn't expect to see that fly. I have small flies. <laughs> anyway, it's something like that. So the reason I'm saying it, someone, something, situations could have been triggering you, kept you stuck in your mind, feel tired. It's like, um, it's not to do with love for many of you. It could be to do with legalities. It could be to do with, like someone's trying to deplete you of your finances, an uncomfortable situation. You might lose in the end because you don't, 
you just don't want to stay stuck in the situation anymore. So, so it's two separate things. What else is here for? It's temporary, but it's draining you. And it's like come out of, yeah, like the blue sky, like the fly. It's just going berserk and it's delaying you. Yeah, the 10 of, yeah, see here. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Five of, yes. Okay. So it's not to do with love, this situation. This has to do with like a ongoing nightmare. To do with the financial situation it's some something that you cannot feel okay what is anything else here on the five of swords and the five of wands goodness okay yes yeah, so this is what it is Oh my God, there is a particular environment around you where you can never, never have peace. Never. There's always another obstacle. It will never, you will never have peace in that environment. The best thing you can do is to move away. My goodness, yeah. Yeah. There's a going to be a tower and you might be causing that tower. Sweet Jesus. Oh my days, Pisces. What is going on? Jesus. I've never seen so many fives. It's never ending. Oh my God. I don't know what that, that, that there. I don't know what that is. But what I'm picking up, what it is, it is a particular person, a particular situation. It will never get better. You will never win with that situation. There will always be something else. So it's a little bit like tit for tat. If you're in an environment like that, if you are, let's say, okay, you're in a work situation and there's always going to be a nightmare around it because someone wants to play the game so you're tired and you might be like okay well here's a new opportunity oh boom there's a little bit more burdens for you and then boom people are arguing again and then it's like okay let's collaborate again and then you feel like what is going on and then you're like ah, i i don't like this and then there's a, there's more <laughs> there is a situation around you where the only, the only way is either you stay and you deal with that over and over and over and over again, or you leave. I see, however, so you will receive an opportunity when it comes to love and it tells you to, it's like open up to this person because somehow that person will get you out of a situation here. Um, it says here, Pisces, that the situation that you're in, well, if it is a relationship, if it is a friendship, if it is a work situation, if it is a, you know, there's something that you will never, it's like it would never stop. But if you take, if you take the, one of these opportunities here, which you have, things will settle real fast because... I feel that many of you could be dealing with an environment where it will never be fair treatment. Like it will always be someone that's trying to stop you. And what's happening is that they will drain your energy in that environment. And you just will, it's just like, it doesn't make any sense to stay there, but you could be roped into it. It's like, you could be like, well, it's usually harmonious. I mean, it surely it's going to go away, but there is some, it's someone there that's doing something to slow everything down on purpose. Yeah. Someone here is, yeah, it's saying here to pull away from the game, pull away from <laughs> The whole situation, yeah. Otherwise, you will never get nowhere in the situation. It cannot bear fruits. There is a situation around you cannot bear fruits. You will not gain much there. You are. It, there's something about staying over. You have overstayed that that place, that person. 
It's like that person will never change, that workplace will never change. It's impossible. Because someone here, it's the kind of environment is almost thriving. It's thriving of being, causing the drama. It's Yeah, it, that, that's what I'm seeing here. Goodness. So let's clarify here. Um, because, see, you have, there's a lot of opportunities around you. And if you focus on closing that chapter, if you focus on opening your mind to, it's like from a scarcity mindset to a positive mindset of taking a risk, you will have a lot in return. But it could be difficult because I'm seeing you feel kind of trapped in the situation. You feel like the situation is, is kind of, there's no way out or that's just how that's, it's like someone could be pulling the strings there it's a very strange situation i have to say uh yeah see here it says walk away it might be that i feel here it's a work environment i feel here it's like you have the skills to do whatever you want you have the skills to go away but it can be really hard here because it's almost like you have gotten used to or someone's gotten used to pulling you into um, a dramatic situation so it wears you out so that you stay that's what i'm seeing here it's almost like a, an abusive relationship of some kind uh, that you yeah you will stay it's it's like you're used to the arguments you don't care and now you argued so much so many times that it kind of don't matter it kind of don't matter what anybody says or do or it's just like and a cycle that will be repeated here so it has to do with an everyday life and it can also be for many of you Pisces that I feel um, it's um, a safe place in a way and you have you might have some gold there and it's also like it's, it's a bit like let's say if you're not living used to the city and you but I've, well, how can I say? Well, if you're not used to the city, you wouldn't be used to get used to that. But maybe you are used to the city or maybe you're used to a really erratic environment. So if anyone looked in, they were would say, wow, how can, how can you tolerate and be in that sort of environment every single day? But you're like, well, you know, I, I've been, you know, I do that on a daily basis. You know, there is always, uh, you know, there's, there's also... A lot of work maybe so you know I have the enthusiasm today I won tomorrow I lost and you know sometimes I watch people argue and sometimes I make the peace maybe you are the peacemaker but then you're like oh, should I leave should I leave are you, you're not sure there is an opportunity here because I feel there is like this constant it is just a constant cycle that keeps repeating in this situation basically here uh, Pisces and uh, in your feelings you know that you want harmony and peace and, and that's really what you're about here so that it says here there is a new opportunity for you that you want and this opportunity is going to be presented to you but look uh, it's like pay attention to this opportunity uh, and that is going to to close that cycle and again, you start over. Maybe some of you in that same environment, there could also be someone that you're like, oh, well, I hope I get connected with this person because maybe they come back if I stay. There's something here. There is a, you could feel that there is an award if you stay there or something like that. But it says, say, you already are the self-made person. You already, you're, it's almost like your next path, next chapter is already set in stone for you. Even if you're, you are there, I feel, but it's like, you are like, gosh, it's almost like you know, a hamster wheel. Did you want it to go off for a very long time ago, but you can't seem to get the energy to do it. So it says here, be now strategic. Don't tell people about your moves. Um, there is an opportunity here with someone that is going to yeah, express, they're going to express love to you here. Um, I feel there has been a third party situation. I feel that it's something to do with something to do with the workplace. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, it keeps. I keep getting that. A workplace, perhaps there was love here, and it's like, oh well, I want to stay here. It's like a. 
there is a reason why you're staying there because there is a lot of joy as well but then you're like oh this is not worth it there's going to be the final straw here the person's feelings is that they're going to take action and there will be communication with you and this person regardless but maybe not how you would expect and stuff like that. Something isn't how you expect it, but it is better. But it's going to get you out of this rat race that you might look back and see, oh, wow, this was on repeat for a while. What happened there? Um, very soon, uh, clearly decide what you want. Something's, yeah, uh, if I can speak. <laughs> clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy in heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Distant horizon, leaving an ex, soulmate, marriage. For some of you as well, it is possible here that a person does reach out to you. A person that, yes, they could be hopeless romantic and there is communication maybe from that communication there is something happening on the back of that where you feel oh something about connecting with this person it's like oh, why am I stuck in this rat race with this person so that could be the situation as well it's a bit like okay if I was to have that fly everywhere in my flat I mean there's there's a lot of different flies you don't have to cancel you all everything because of it but I certainly would have that particular one because it was just very loud and um, so it sounds weird, but it's something that is very loud day to day that is causing a lot of obstacles for you. It's causing a lot of stress and it's slowing you down because you constantly have to be in the fight and constantly have to sort of wiggle yourself out of it. And it, again, it's not something that other people might notice even because around you things look blissful and harmonious, but you internally, you are sort of left bamboozled by the situation over and over and over and you're like, oh, this is starting to really be annoying. So you might also be someone that is trying to get back into your life and that is the signs that you're seeing. There's turbulence from it. It's just never-ending chaos in your head because of this person and it's a sign when you connect with someone or an environment, it's like the, all the crazy thoughts that you will have, it's like a link. There's a link there and, and it's something about, okay, no, just just stay away. So for some of you, there's a person here that wants to pin you down again, where whereabouts, and they're trying to reach you. And again, it could be sort of cat and mouse as well. You could be trying to escape this person, but it's like, you're like, oh my God, why is this person showing up everywhere? So there's something you want to escape. You are just holding tight, but you can't seem to escape someone that is just showing up or yeah, it's like that. It's like, oh my God, it, you, it's kind of, you feel yeah, it's like you feel a bit bamboozled. You're like, where is this noise coming from? I don't want this noise. I didn't ask for the arguments. I didn't ask for all, for all that stuff. But uh, somehow I seem to be spending a lot of time. So there is someone here that's causing it. It's like, and you are in the middle of it. It can also be like someone that is, yeah. There's someone that could be triggering. There's someone here that is triggering an environment. <laughs> that's, that's it. And they are always causing a reaction. And it's making you, like it's distracting you, basically. Yeah, that's what it is. And it's not even necessarily to do with love, but it's like, it makes you spend like a lot of time on, like it, you're just like, oh. So yeah, I'm picking up in a chaotic work environment where the actual person pulling the strings isn't really there, but they know what they're doing. So it's like, it's almost like causing like this spectacle, this noise, this drama, and they going to appear as the person that is like, what are you guys arguing about? I'm always so peaceful and you know, can't you just focus? So it's like that. There is someone like that in the midst of your situation, but you can get rid of the situation. And I see that you will, but you're going to find yourself in that situation a few more times and you're like, wow, okay. It's like you, it seems a bit like you're like, how, how can that even happen? You know, <laughs> you're just sort of, I just feel like you're just again and again and again brought into a really a head, 
head, uh, like rat, head fuck basically, uh, constantly. And you're like, I don't need to be thinking about this situation. What is going on? So anyway, Spirit is trying to tell you something. Now, now I got completely off on something completely else, but it's, it's come up. So it is what it is. So, because you have a purpose here, um, Pisces, you have a purpose. It, it is uh, a spiritual relationship is coming together and it's completely not related to, to the situation, I feel. It's not, but somehow, again, it can be that, okay, let's say, yeah, it's like they're approaching you and that environment is going on around you. So it's a bit like, you have to be like cat and mouse to get together. But then constantly, if one of these people or something look up and then suddenly they will <laughs> just, it's, it can also be that, yeah, it is love at work or love in a situation where two people is trying to slowly but surely get towards one another, but there is always a thing going on. And then if that mayhem, chaos, whatever it's going on, notice that you and this person is getting together in that particular place they will like target you or you might it's sort of your love story might just uh, be affected or you know maybe you don't have an op opportunity to to get together something like that so i see here someone is trying to get you on your whereabouts so that they can speak to you they can be with you you know what i mean like they might even know about that situation as well they might know that oh gosh i, I best I need to, it's like they know it's not you, they know that you won't be part of, like you are not the one <laughs> running that show, uh, but yeah, it's something here, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's like weird, it is as weird as me getting pissed off with, off with that fly, that's, I'm just going to leave it at that, yeah, because, okay, so I feel here, uh, Pisces, it's that, it, it's this, the three of cups. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people around the situation. So it's like three of cups. All right. It could be a Leo, Pisces. So Leo and Pisces, you could be getting together. It can also be someone here that is watching. I feel someone is watching them and they don't want someone to embarrass them. That's possible. Uh, yeah, I feel this person is dealing with someone as well that is sort of trying to follow them in a way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So this is what's going to happen. There is a change that you are approaching, Pisces. The change can actually be easier. Maybe it feels awkward because you're like, well, oh, I have to face this change and maybe you have to face someone or something and you are sort of, I don't want to face it. Like maybe it's like, it's almost like you are used to, what you're used to whatever noise is around you. So it's a bit like saying, oh, I, I, can, I can sit here in the middle of the traffic all day long. That's fine. But I can't like get up on my feet and just go into a place that... Oh, that's going to be uncomfortable, right? I, I don't know the people. So it's like, well, if you can sit there and handle that noise, why don't you just get up if you ask and go over there? It's something like that. A spirit is trying to tell you. It's like, you got to do it. you got to do it because there is someone or crowd or a place that is wasting your time. Yes. And I feel the person, yeah, the person that is coming towards you Pisces this person they are trying to get away from someone that will also cause a lot of noise this person there's someone here a female uh, this could be born on the cusp of Libra Scorpio could also be Gemini someone here is pulling some strings to cause the chaos they know what they're doing here yeah. Some there's someone here that's causing that's pretending to be 
very kind, very smart, very caring, but that person is causing the noise but not taking the blame or far away from the noise because no one can see they're doing it, but you know, uh, I feel that you know more about the situation than you think you do, Pisces. So perhaps that's why you're being very strategic in your next move. This reading is very weird, but here we are. The love situation here, this could also be with a Leo. I feel that you have this person planning to go from one relationship into another relationship. They want to be in a relationship with you, but they have someone following them all the time. And that's their noise. So it's like both of you are occupied by certain noise where you don't want to be. You could feel entrapped. Uh, you could feel like it's like you're soaking up the energies here. You don't need to. Uh, what is Pisces going to, to do here with the situation? Yeah. The wheel is coming to pick you up. The wheel is coming to enlighten something to you. And here with the judgment as well, you have the strength, you have the courage. I feel here this person, <clears throat> yeah, this person that is going to express their love. Again, they have been delaying it because they have this fear of, you know, they have to do it right or so forth. But the wheel is coming. Uh, the wheel is going to fast forward something. Someone is going to miss an opportunity as well. Yeah. Someone someone that's been uh, flirting and kind of seeming romantic, kind of seeing that, okay, well, seeming like they are moving towards you. So, but this, there's one person here that's going to be kicked out of this uh, equation. Um and that's happening really fast because something cannot continue the way it is. Because if you see here, you have a lot of happy cards, but you are actually stuck in a place that can't give you the full wish fulfillment that you are entitled to and that's yours. You can't be in that environment and have the wish fulfillment and have the peace at the same time. Gosh. It's a little bit like, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's like, uh, yeah, see here, this person, they're like, oh, you know, not today, not today. And see, like, I feel here, this person here, there's definitely a person that is going to be wiped out because they are afraid, they are slow, they are too concerned about, okay, I need to, maybe I should get some more money before I go, or you know what I mean, like, oh, just, I just carry these burdens up this hill, just, just do that, just, uh, so I feel here someone will lose out on you because of it, there is a person here that will lose out on you, I feel, yeah, that's, that's what I see. There is someone here, uh, Pisces, that, okay, yeah, no, I'm getting. I also did a pre-shuffle, and it was also really weird cards. Someone has a dream to manifest you back into their life. Someone as well, they are stuck in a situation, they don't want to be there. But they seem not to be able to get past this devil. There is some kind of corrupt thing happening here. There could be a father figure. This person could be, maybe their father figure, father have employed them. So, you know, they have never really, it's almost like they could have got, they could have been given a business. They could have been given a, an opportunity when they were a child. And it seems like, oh, you know, you're going to get, if I was your age, I'm hearing this, like if, when I was your age, right, then I, you know, I would be so grateful. So you're just going to have to work and that's it. Okay, so you're dealing with someone that have got some kind of seemingly like, oh, sweet deal because someone has given it to them. So, of course, you know, it, you know, you're going to stay here till you die kind of thing, right? But they're stuck there. They don't want to, they don't want to stay there. So there is a payout. So they could be waiting for the payout. But this, there's some delays going on. And there is a lot of manipulation here. There's someone here. Someone here could be, again, like whatever they're doing, if they have any link to you, Pisces, or 
it's just someone. It's just, uh, someone here is doing something. There is a little bit of moon magic. They could even go to some professionals. They could even send spies. There's someone is trying to pin down your whereabouts to like, they're like always scared of, well, I got to keep them here because, you know, if they go over to Pisces, I mean, I can't have that. It's like they're going to, they pretend like they don't know that they, but all they are thinking about is like, how, how, how can they keep them there? Pisces, you have the soulmate coming towards you. It's passion very soon and is a wedding here. Um, keep manifesting this soulmate. Soulmate is here for you. I feel, again, there is someone here that's going to fall off the wagon. They are going too slow here. They are, again, this could be some different culture. They are releasing an ex. They might be able to do it. They might not, okay? There's a little bit of like... Is slow down, slow down. But you have a similar situation, but it's a different thing here. So someone is leaving someone and then they're not. Then there is like, oh, it's like a lengthy thing, a lengthy, lengthy thing going on. So if you're dealing with someone like that, you can definitely go through all of that. You're like, my God, I feel like this person is moving forward. And then they're, then they're gone again. Like, what's going on? What's going on with that? Well, why are they so hot and cold in a way? So there is a lot of dynasty going on my goodness it's died the dynasty that that's just never ending never ending another episode and never another episode never another episode it's just on standstill it's like slow motion of see how we can steal from each other or see how we can slow each other down um not yes i just see that's just the weirdest thing here you know um and Pisces, you mean what? I feel whilst this situation is trying to pin you down, come towards you, talking about you, getting to you, I feel here you are like finding your whole, like you're being very strategic. <laughs> I'm seeing this is so interesting because you're, you have clocked on to this stuff a long time ago. So you are like, oh, I get it. I'm not going to speak to anyone about this, but I, I get it. There's something going on. You you just feel something's going on with something to do with this person and, and something that's happening in your environment. And then you're like, right, I, I'm just going to make my own plans. I'm going to look at distant horizon. There's got to be something else for me here. The star is giving me hints. I, I, I don't really... I don't really have anything to lose at the minute. I, I don't I don't care. The wheel's going to come here and it's just going to swish you, you away. So it's saying here to focus on your harmony that, you know, it's focus on what it is you desire to celebrate. Focus on what it is that you feel that, you know, the ideal environment should look like, okay? And, and then there is a spiritual awakening here. You have the strength to take on this change. It's saying here as well, don't fall into the trap that all these other people are doing. It's like, I feel here, it's very much of saying like, let's say the well, financial crisis. It's like, and people are saying, well, well, you only have these skills now. This this, this environment here is going to be tough for a while. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. You only have these skills. So you're going to be tough. It's going to be tough. You only have these skills. It's going to be so tough. And then you're like, okay, well, I, I've got other skills. Um, I can change. But if you ask them, they will be like, um, no. What? What do you mean? All the skills? It, no, but that's, this is what we do. It could be something specific. So it's like, what do you mean? You, you're going to change completely? Like, <laughs> it's like a complete, like... That environment there, they don't understand it because they are not you. They are not you. They don't have your skills, your ambitions, your uh, goals, your, you know, you haven't told them your dreams. So it's something like that where you are just saying then, it's kind of you're laughing to yourself and you're like, oh God, okay, now I see. They don't want to do anything else and stay in there. And if they want to stay there, it's like, okay, if everybody wanted something when it's sold out, and you, but you just, it's like, Paparazzi, for instance, I guess, if you, I don't know, I've never seen how it works, but I can imagine if you really want to be in that environment and you know that there's going to be, it's the only thing you want to do, but you maybe just want to be part of the fight, but you know, you might be knocked over and you're like, well, there's not even much money in it, but I don't know if that's a good example, but it's just something like that. It's repeats, it's a repeat of misery. It's repeat, but then I get, you know, Henry is the head that, 
uh, you know, holds the crown. So there is a crown. So it could also be, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, you know, the parliament, bloody hell. Like, I couldn't, that reminds me of that. Like, where's it all going? Is it going to create happiness? Like, it's someone one day, someone the other day. You know, it could be, it's like objections. It's like, okay, they're just doing it. It could be a stockbroker, right? It's like, okay, well, you know, am I going to feel something? Because even if someone here is winning, it's not winning. It's just, it's just holding the crown, but why? So, but it has to do with something to do with skills. It's like, it's like they're all looking at the same thing. And then it's like, what other skills? <laughs> oh, that it's like, it's almost like someone said, oh, you want to go to another planet? Like as if that's normal, right? Or it's just like, what well, we're here at Earth, at Earth, everything is the circus. So we got to stay here. We can't go to another planet. Of course you can't go to another planet. What, what are you talking about? So it's kind of that, that. <laughs> so you are just seeing that you are distancing yourself from that environment and you're realizing that well you have already distanced yourself from that environment or that thinking or you're not there you're not there at all but at the same time when you're there it is disturbing you don't want to be there and you're just putting yourself there so you're like I just see that you are sort of oh okay 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 uh, I gotta I gotta sneak out that back door take this opportunity sign this contract and that's it. They're not even going to notice that I'm gone because they're going to continue the same thing tomorrow. So that's it. I feel that you are getting yourself out of a circus and they are not your monkeys. <laughs> Basically. So you are not participating anymore. Now, this soulmate situation here is quite interesting. I feel you know, like, I feel you know that a soulmate is nearby, but you're not focusing on who it is. You just feel that this soulmate is going to be where you're going. That's for sure. Or, you know, even if someone is, you know, to do with that environment or if someone is kind of they're not going to know where you're going because maybe if they are linked to you or whatever they're going to try to pin down your whereabouts some of you could go into you know fame of some type like you they, they don't know where you are but suddenly you show up in tv or something yeah the coffin yeah it's a time for a new beginning liberation reborn transit there could be a tragic ending Sabotage, rebuild, working on it, repairing, paradise, grounding. So yeah, there is something about if you stay in a certain place, you have to, you're going to be part, you're going to be part of the sabotage that's going on in that environment at the moment. And you should get out before the ship sinks. You have already got the strength, the awakening, you are already on a different journey, so there is no point uh, staying there for what, to share your energy, to hold on to a crown you don't want, to participate in a toxic environment, if there is someone here as well pulling the strings that knows that you are waiting for them, again, pull away from them. I feel the person that you're moving towards, Pisces, is someone that is here. Uh, I feel this person have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their chart. This person and you are, both of you are on a journey of transformation. I feel both of you are changing, like you are, there is something, someone that is going to be removed from their life and your life and that's how you will end up meeting up uh, you and this person yeah the page of pentacles keeps coming up uh, what that means what does it mean spirit yeah okay even in chaos there is an opportunity look out for it remember who you are you are the empress maybe you've been hiding that you know so it's time for you to step aside. It's time for you to, so, you know, you have a foundation. You have what it takes. You have what it takes to adapt to a new environment. You can go independent, right? So when you do that, you're getting this renewed 
renewed feeling, like this renewed feeling, I was going to say, renewed self-love. I feel that it's got to do with travel. Uh, it's got to do with you just connecting with yourself in a different way and your skills. Because there is a corrupt situation around you and it's going to drain you. Even if you can't put your finger on it, I think you already know what it is. It can be different things for all of you. It just is something that has to go. You, it, it's like it's going to slow you down. And you have to keep it um, to yourself, I'm seeing here. You have to... It's, um, it's, 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 your journey is meant only for you. And for some of you, it can even be that, you know, there, when this crowd look up or there are people that will, are depending on you and they're like, what do you mean? They, it's almost like they feel happy arguing there or stressing there because you keep everything calm. But then when you're gone, you know, they, they will see that you're gone, but they know that you should be gone in a way. It's like you have outgrown that place. It's not for you. It's not for you to waste any more time there. Now that's right. That's right. And we have the te defeat yet. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Get out whilst the... Um, Something about a sinking ship. Spirit is trying to connect with you in a calling. Yeah. Someone. Is, is, uh, I, I'm seeing that someone here will track you down. It's a positive thing. Uh, even if, let's say, you cut contact with them right now. For some of you, it's like this could even be even like you are saying, well, you just leave in the country. Boom, out of the country you go and suddenly people are like, oh, where's Pisces? Uh, and maybe there's a person there as well, like you didn't get time to say goodbye to this person and you just go, you just just left, you're just gone. You're like, oh, I leave a note at the door. If there's something like that, that, that's what you will do. This has to do with you establishing yourself, how you want your life to be set up, what your paradise should look like. A life-changing decision is here. This decision, you are not able to get any advice because this decision is something that you might not even know anybody that have done this before. If you explain it to someone, that crowd won't even understand what you're talking about <laughs> because they are not wired that way. It's just completely something else. They might just be like, yeah, it's no point. It's no point because no one will understand it. But to get there, it says here, be smart. But look out for a small opportunity that is giving you a sign that this is what you're supposed to do. So whatever that is for you, it is something about something tangible. So it is an invitation. It can even be sending a CV. And suddenly you get an answer to that CV and you're like, I wasn't meant to send the CV to like where a place where I was going to relocate. But now since I've done it, let's take a look at it. And then you might send the CV another place. Or this has to do with you went, went for a date or you like, you didn't want to go for a date and you're just like, all right. And then it was the best thing here. Someone could tell you something about an unfair situation and you're like, oh, I see now. I see how all the dots are connecting in the, in the puzzle here. You, some of you are going from being in, a, in an office to being independent. And you're like, oh, I've got to relocate for this. But this is my calling. It is my calling. I've got to do this. I've got to do this calling. I've got to follow this calling. This is... What is my passion? This is what I am going to enjoy it. I have the strength. I have the stamina here. And it says, do it. Um, I'm not saying that you're going to do something crazy like you're going to pack your bags tonight and just <laughs> do it all overnight. But you will get that message. It has to do with within the chaos because you've been maybe waiting. You've been waiting for a while and you are like, oh. So it's like, 
in the chaotic environment, and that could also be in your mind, you're like, okay, well, things are a little bit quiet now, so now I'm just going to relax a little bit. I'm going to see how things move forward. It says that at least when things are calm, even if that can just be for a split second, because in that environment, <laughs> it's a bit chaotic, you are going to receive a message. Take that as a sign, because it's going to be life-changing. The person that is meant to be with you, they're going through something over here that they're going to get the same sign. It's something about you won't even believe how your life will evolve. If, like the, the, the order of it all. The order of it all doesn't make sense. But you and this person are both going through something major, major that's life changing. And because of you both taking that step, changing your life, that's how the two of you will come together, but you both have to make this change. But you don't even know that you both are doing that. That's what I'm, I'm getting. Wow. Crazy reading. If you like it, <laughs> press the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Um, have a great weekend. See you soon.